Hey folks, this is Reverend Wayne S. Pierce right here for the 6th of May, 2014. Now, <clears throat> this is a message going out to all of the people that are on the opposite side of the fence. A little metaphor for you there. What I mean by that is the fact that there are two camps... And let me read something I put up, I posted on uh, Facebook, which really s tells it like it is, gives it straight to you. I wrote this, and I'll post this on the Wayne S. Pierce Show Facebook page. Disinformation is distracting. The push to distract and invent another narrative is strong in our society and within the state-run media. It's time we, the people, who know what is going on behind the scenes, take control of all media and defeat those that want to spread the communist propaganda throughout our society. It's time we develop ways and continue to promote ways to get the message out that we, individually, are free people. Quote, leave us alone and don't take our stuff, unquote. That's from Pete Santilli from the Guerrilla Media Network. It's so easy to, to, to judge and to placate and to adhere to a ideology that seems proper and right when in reality it's bogus and destructive to the freedoms and liberties of every single citizen of the United States. Alternative and independent media is the way to go from now on. Fox, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, and all Soros Media Matters propaganda that is there to confuse you and to divide you into various camps devoid of truth or facts where... There is an intellectual black hole where all the seemingly enlightened go in and are swallowed up and are gone forever. Support alternative and independent media. Find one near you. I totally and absolutely believe that because of the, well, let's just say the, the uh, situations that are current in our society and in in, uh, in our in the United States and I find it uh, I find it odd that people cannot or will not accept what is going on cognitive dissonance Most likely, yes. Most likely, there is a reason for it. Most likely, because they are scared to accept the truth. Afraid to accept the facts. And would rather stick their head in the sand. Well... As I like to tell people, if you stick your head in the sand, there's only one other body part sticking up out of the sand, and it's a perfect target. Facts are facts, folks. Facts are facts, and they're out there. They're in your face. Whether you want them there or not, whether or not you accept them, whether or not you believe them. They're there. You can't steer clear of them. Because the more you try to run from it, the more they'll kick you in the ass. And the more that you stand up and say, I don't want to accept this, the more it's going to slap you across the face and say, I'm here whether you like it or not. Facts are facts. And I don't believe anybody that says, yes, you have a right to your own opinions, but you don't have a right to your own facts. Well, whoever said that is the dumbest person walking the planet. I cannot 
stand next to you and both of us looking at a at a blue car can say it's anything other than a blue car. We understand that. And for anyone to say that it isn't or to try to distract from the truth and the facts is someone I don't want to be standing next to. The whole situation that we have going on here from John Kerry refusing to accept the subpoenas for the Benghazi situation. He didn't have anything to do with it. And I think in his logic, he's saying, why should I accept it? I had nothing to do with it. From that to the financial crisis in the United States, from missing airlines to ranchers standing up for land rights. There's so many things out there. And like I say, things change seemingly every five minutes. One thing that stands clear in all of it, folks, that's the facts. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can believe whatever you want. That's entirely up to you. But if you do not have the facts to back it up, you got nothing. You got nothing. You look around you. Examine everything. Go to talk to your coworkers. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. You will find, you will find that they do not have the ability to understand what is going on because of their environment that they were born and raised in. But a person can still put two and two together and figure it out through their experiences, through their work, through their uh, discussions, uh, all of that. They don't have the intellectual prowess, the ability to think beyond the box that they grew up in, that they were raised in, that they were taught in. And therefore, they only know one thing. And they only believe one thing. And they have their blinders on. And they can only do one thing. So when you hear people or more than likely see a post on your Facebook page in disagreement with what you believe. Understand one very important factor, folks. They know nothing. You know you better than you know your uh, better than you know the other person, and they know themselves better than they know you. Let me simplify that for you. You know who you are. No one else does. Now, the person that looks at you and says, I know you better than you know yourself, you can look at them and give them the big finger. Pick one. You got ten of them. Seriously, folks. If you've got time to judge someone and criticize someone for something you don't understand, you got major issues and problems that need to be solved. And if you want to believe the propaganda and all that bull crap coming off of your state-run media, then you have at it. And me and my friends and the patriots all over the United States of America will be there to save your ass when you get in trouble. Now, 
One last little message to those folks posting replies or posting on my Facebook. One last little message. I don't have time to waste with stupid people. And I'm not going to deal with them anymore. You better get a brain in your head and start doing the research and understanding where I'm coming from before you start looking at, or let me just say it plainly, assuming. Stop assuming you know who I am, what I am, how I think, what I believe. Just because I have an REV in front of my name doesn't mean you know everything about me. So shut your big damn pie hole and get a clue. Best way to do that, folks, is to ask me. I don't mind answering questions. Ask me anything you like. As I like to say, no question is... Off limits. Ask me anything you like. If I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. I don't mind that. But you sit there and you point fingers and criticize me for something you don't understand. You don't have a right to do that. Now, when you find out about me and know things about me and ask me and I tell you what you need to know and there's three or four other people that can tell you about me, then you have a right to judge me for and criticize me for things you don't understand. But until then, shut your mouth. You have nothing to say. I've dealt with my life. I've dealt with my life and the people in my life that actually know me. And have taken the time to at least sit down and ask me questions. And to get to know me. And I've heard them say, I trust you. I believe you. May not agree with everything you say, but that's okay. But I've also had to deal with people that just point fingers and look at me and say, Oh, you're this and you're that and blah, blah, blah. You know what? (laughs) Talk to the hand. I just walk away from stupid people because they're stupid. They're going to believe whatever they want because they're in their little cookie-cutter world being diluted by their own uh, self-importance and their own, you know, uh, preconceived ideas. I'm done with stupid people. So if you're on my Facebook page, if you're a friend or you post anything to my Facebook page in reply to what I put or or reply to me in some other, you know, somebody else's Facebook post or whatever, remember one thing. You do not know me at all. Therefore, you have no right to criticize me for things you don't understand. Best way to understand anything you want to know about me is to ask me. That's it. That's as simple as that. But other than that, folks, there's more going on around our country and around our world that needs that that you need to pay attention to, that needs your interaction. Now, some people would say, well, one person can't do it all. One person can't make a difference. Oh, yes, they can, because you're not alone. There are other people out there that think just like you, that want freedom and liberty. There's people in Saudi Arabia and Iraq and Egypt and and all those other places that want freedom and liberty just like they see in America. Now, most countries look at the United States and see the biggest and the most powerful police state in the world. How about we change that, huh, folks? How about we change that? Somebody says, well, what about anarchy? Well, it's not so much about anarchy, uh, you know, and, and it's not so much about getting rid of government. In my book, let's get rid of corrupt government. Now, a lot of my Christian friends say that we need, uh, 
you know, 535 congressmen and women who are, you know, sold out to God and, you know, Christian and all that. No, we don't want a theocracy, okay? We want a balance, you know? Nobody understands the balance. It's all about a power play for both sides. And by the way, there is no two sides. Just want to give you that reality check right there. It's all one and the same, folks. There's progressive Democrats and there's progressive Republicans. Okay? There's no... Uh, choosing the lesser of two evils either because they're all evil. It doesn't matter. By the way, why the hell do we have attorneys in Washington, D.C. as uh, uh, in Congress? The Constitution itself said literally, or not literally, but documents in the Constitution have said that there should never, ever be attorneys in Congress, ever. And what do we have? About 95% of them are attorneys. Guess what? That's the basis of a democracy, which does not work at all because, again, it's a power play. That's all it is. It's a shuffling of chess pieces on the board. It's who's going to be, you know, who's going to win the game this, this time around. Who's going to get in the, you know, the big chair in the Oval Office this time around? It doesn't matter. They're all playing off of one another. They're all shaking hands after the meetings. They're all going out to dinner together. It's all rigged, folks. It doesn't matter, okay? It's all rigged. So what difference does it make? Hello, Hillary Clinton. But let me ask it in this fashion. How can we make a difference? We can make a difference as as Americans. We can make a difference because we know what's going on. When 75% or more of the uh, citizens of the United States know that we live in a police state and that we have an overreaching government and that something has to be done, then we have the majority that will take care of the situation. I would say probably somewhere about half of the American people, that's over 150 million people, folks, will take care of this situation. And if the military really had some balls, and if the Joint Chiefs of Staff really had a freaking spine, they would look at the Provost Marshal they would look at some of their people and say, you know what, we have to go into the White House and arrest these jackasses for ruining America. But, see, some of the generals and some of the higher-ups are sold out to the progressives and to the progressive idealism that is coming out of the White House. So how can we change things, folks? Very simply. When peaceful civil disobedience is met with aggressive and assertive police state tactics, then we have no other choice but to invoke our God-given rights of defense. And we will, believe it or not, it will be done. Now, whether or not you believe that, whether or not you want that, and I myself personally do not want to see violence on the streets of America in a civil war because I believe that we can change things in a peaceful manner. But it's going to take a lot of guts, a lot of backbone, and it's going to take a lot of hard work because before any of that happens, the United States of America and, and the government, Washington, D.C. specifically, will have to collapse for us to change things permanently. We can plan, we can strategize, 
We understand what the enemy is doing, and once they do it and things collapse, then we can come in and fill the void. Is that going to happen? I don't know. That would be up to the citizens of the United States of America. But then again, how many of you have the balls to do anything? Now we look at people like Hillary Clinton and Chris Christie and Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and we think, well, these people will be good for the 2016 presidential election. Let's vote for one of these people. No, folks. It's all the same. It has come out in certain records and whistleblowers have said that the electronic voting machines that we used last time were rigged to give Obama the votes. So I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore from people that say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, then show me your information. Prove to me that you know what you're talking about. And I will not accept no for an answer, nor will I accept the excuse, I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Yes, you do. And the first person you have to prove it to is yourself. And if you walk away all pissed off at the fact that I didn't believe you, well, kiss my ass. I got the proof and the facts to back up what I say. Do you? No? Okay. Bye. Have a nice day. Some people said, well, why do you want people to prove to you what they believe? It's not so much proving what they believe, it's proving what they say. Because mama didn't raise no fool. Okay? They can believe whatever they want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's based on preconceived ideas, you know, in their, you know, limited little minds. So they're going to have these limited little thoughts, and they're going to spew this limited information out. But if they don't have the intellectual prowess to, to research and find that information to back it up, then what they say is totally pointless. You know, I had somebody once tell me, well, you think you're smarter than everybody, don't you? I looked right at that person and said, yep. Well, because we were having a huge argument at the time, or I should say a huge disagreement about something. And I was tired of their idiocy. I was tired of their stupidity. I was tired of them lying and, and misrepresenting certain facts. And I just, I said what I said and they returned with that. And I just went, okay, have a nice day. And I walked away. I'm not going to put up with bull crap anymore, folks. Neither should you. It's just something that, well, again, mama didn't raise no fool. You know? If you can tell the truth once, you can tell it again. But if you lie, you got to make up a lie to cover the lie that you lied about in the first place when you disseminated that lie. You know, do, do you see the rabbit hole that goes down into, or I should say the gopher hole that goes down into? So anyway, folks, I'm just, I'm, I just wanted to give that message out. Pay attention, do your research understand what's going on, get a backbone, you know, and go from there. Because this is not the world that our, this is not the society in the United States that our founding fathers wanted for us, okay? I don't even want to start getting into the separation of church and state or whatever, and you know, all this. It's, there. there's so much corruption in that you know, uh, there's corrupt intellectualism within that argument that is so, it, it's just, it's too much. 
It's too much. So when you look at the facts and when you look at the truth and when, you, when it's right there in front of your face and there's no denying it, don't walk away from it. It'll kick you in the ass. Accept it. Move on. Say, wow, I did not know that. And move on and find something else. I just don't have time. I don't have time. You know what? Bye. Have a nice day. Enjoy. You know, I mean, that's all I got to tell you. I have friends of mine that won't talk to me about anything political or religious because they say that I get heated. They say that that uh, one person told me, actually, that, uh, that uh, I try to make it so I want them to believe what I'm saying. And I looked at that person and went, no, I'm just, here's the information. You think about it. I'm not trying to make you believe anything you don't want to believe. And they kind of looked at me like, like they were surprised I said that. I went, well, that's the truth. It's not so much how many people you can convince. It's about looking at yourself and asking if you believe it. That's basically the bottom line there, folks. Pay attention. See what's going on. Investigate and research. And stop pointing fingers and criticizing people for something you don't understand. The best way to, uh, specifically for me, the best way to find out is to ask me. I'm more than happy to tell you whatever it is you need to know. Okay? Okay? Hey, if you want to uh, get a hold of me, you can. FreeAmericaRadio at USA.com. FreeAmericaRadio at USA.com. You can also go to FreeAmericaRadio.us or go to the Wayne S. Pierce Show.weebly.com. Go to Free America Radio on Facebook or the Wayne S. Pierce Show on Facebook. Check that out as well. Come join me on the Views Express Live, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, on Spreaker.com, on WakingUpTheMasses.com, and broadcasting on 1610 a.m. in the Chickamauga, Georgia area. And um, I talk about a lot of stuff on that program. Check it out, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, FreeAmericaRadio.us. WakingUpTheMasses.com and uh, The Views Expressed Live. Check it out, man. You might be enlightened. Hey, I just hope I make you think. I hope that that the information you're looking for is uh, is helpful. You know, I, I hope that I encourage you to get out and do your own research and, and investigate and stop believing your state-run media for everything under the sun. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, folks, I got to get out of here, got to prepare for the show today, and uh, please, hey, you know, email me, freeamericaradio at usa.com, freeamericaradio at usa.com. More than happy to answer any questions you have, so uh, ask, ask away. (laughs) If you want to know, just ask me, and I'm more than happy to tell you. Uh, If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. I don't have a problem with that. So uh, come join me on The Views Express live today at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern at freeamericaradio.us, wakingupthemasses.com, and broadcasting throughout the Chickamauga, Georgia area on 1610 a.m. Have a great day, folks, and I'll talk to you later.